What numbers do you see? Six. Watch out for the leash. <laughs> All right, can you find the next one? So this is our afternoon activity. Oh, Gray got distracted by a huge stick. I swear he's part dog. Put that down, it's too big. Put it down. Okay, find the next mailbox. Where are you going? Oh, he found smaller sticks, nice. Okay, find the next mailbox. Oh, are they wa are they helping you? This leash gets in the way. You have an idea? Nice. Six eight zero zero. Okay, let's find the next one. Gray, no, no, that's not our mailbox. No, Grayson. Go find the next numbers. Okay. Yeah, it completes the mailbox. What number? You gonna jump? Is definitely fall. The leaves are falling like crazy. Pretty soon there's gonna be no leaves on the trees left, but they're turning really pretty colors on our neighborhood. <laughs> We're dog sitting again, if you couldn't tell. Berkeley's with us for a couple days. Sorry, my camera's so crazy. I'm trying to steer the stroller and hold on to the leash and direct Gray. Gray, come on, let's go find the next mailbox with numbers. So like I was saying earlier, we are going around to each mailbox that has numbers on it and tracing the numbers. Go, Gray. Uh-oh, are you stuck? Hang on, hang on. Okay. What is that? Oh, that's a big stick. And Gray is also finding every huge stick he can find. Okay, find the next mailbox. Oh, Berkeley wants it. She's chasing you, Gray. She says, I want that stick. Are you going to push Porter? Oh, Berkeley, that stick is too big for you. Uh-oh, Gray. Watch out, you got to steer it. Did Mommy, did mommy go with Grayson? <laughs> okay. Oh, you're going to crash. Oh, oh, there you go. Whoa, okay, now we're gonna get the lead. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> this is our chaos right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is too much. Okay, Gray, let mommy steer. Okay, Gray insists on steering. Sorry, this video is gonna be so choppy. <laughs> uh, I was like, oh, this is a cute activity. I'll vlog it, but it's a little crazy with two kids and a dog. Okay, Gray and Porter crashed. That was not good. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is a hot mess. But um, like I said earlier, we we're going around and tracing all the letters to all the mailboxes. And it's good practice on writing letters, I guess. So that's what we're doing to kill time before dinner and bath. Um, it's cold. As you can see, we're wearing coats. But the sun's out, and so it feels nice with the sun. But we're just hanging out, babysitting Berkeley for a couple days, like I said. My parents are out of town. And yeah, it's Friday, so it's the weekend. And we don't really have that much planned this weekend. We're gonna watch UC play tomorrow. And it's exciting, college game day is going to UC. If you know football, college football, you know what that means. It's never gone to Cincinnati before. So we're super excited for it. And it should be a good game. Actually, I hope it's, I hope it's a boring game. I hope it's a blowout. Uh, hi. Uh, Say hi. Uh, Say up. Eh. Say mama. Eh. Okay, Porter wanted to be in the camera shot. So it is several days later. I tried filming those clips while we were on a walk with two kids and a dog and it was just a hot mess. So that was not smart. 
So anyway, nothing else really happened that day. I've also been filming um, a couple clips here and there. I got a clip of like the boys playing and then we went over to my sister's house the other day and we went on a walk in the forest. So I recorded that. So I'll just put like random clips in here of our past couple days. Felix found a box. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Porter <laughs> found Felix. <laughs> are you? Are you? Are you going? Is the lamb going to sleep? Oh, did you put the lamb to bed in your bed? Yeah. Is she sleeping? Okay. Are you gonna wake her up? Are you gonna go wake her up? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> go say good morning. Is she awake? Yeah. Oh, yay! <laughs> it's now it's time to sleep. Oh, is it time to go back to bed? Yeah. Okay, put her in bed. The lamb's going to bed. Is the lamb tired? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like how he puts it under the blankets on the pillow. That's so cute. Okay, put on the sound. Oh, wait, mommy needs to go out. <laughs> okay, bye. Thank you. <laughs> Good night, lamb. <laughs> Is the lamb did, Fe did Felix escape? A little walking path by Allison's house. So we're walking. Peter's in the wagon. Gray's getting a piggyback ride, and the leaf colors are so pretty. So pretty. But it's pretty cold out here. The sun's going down. <laughs> Gray is loving it. I really haven't filmed much this week just because it's getting colder, and so we're not really doing much anymore. But today is um, Sunday and it is daylight savings. Because it's fall, we are falling back an hour. So I had to switch the times back an hour. And so all week I've been keeping the boys up 10 minutes later each day. Not so much Grayson, but definitely Porter. Sorry, Berkeley's crying in the background. She's wanting my attention. We are still dog sitting. Porter's standing on the counter. He saw Felix. He wants Felix. We still have a ton of Halloween candy. Gray's over there. Say hi, Gray. Hi, Gray. <laughs> so anyway, like I said, I've been keeping up the boys 10 minutes later each day. And then last night I kept them up a full hour, which with Gray, that was not hard to do. But with Porter, it was very hard. He wanted to go to bed. I made the mistake and said bedtime at seven and he was ready for bed. And so I had to then keep him up for an extra hour I eventually just had to take him to the light switch and let him turn the lights on and off for like 20 minutes to keep him happy. But I did keep him up <clears throat> oh, pretty much an hour later. Yeah, <laughs> kitty. And Porter find, found Felix. You see the kitty? Yeah, kitty. Say hi, Felix. Hey. Kitty. Porter is obsessed with Felix, and Felix is like, leave me alone. Who is that? Is that Aunt Allison? And Grayson? Yeah. Who's that? Dada. Dada. And who else? Is that Mama? He will only say Dada. He refuses to say Mama. He'll say it like once a day, and that's it. Okay, sorry, I'm getting so distracted. So today's daylight savings, the boys slept about a half hour later. So it wasn't a full hour. So they got up at 
8 regular time, but 7 with the new time change. So it's been a little longer of a morning, but what can you do with kids? So hopefully just they'll get more acclimated as the days go on and as we keep going to bed later, they'll sleep in later. But I'm sure it's just going to take a second. So that is where we're at. Um, we watched UC play yesterday. It's always our Saturday activity. It was a very close game. It was very stressful. I did not enjoy it. Porter is playing with the Keurig machine right now. <laughs> this is his favorite toy to play with lately. My mom got us these like shelves that ho hold all of our Keurig cups in them. Really nice. And Porter likes to play with them. And he's so smart. He watches me make coffee every day. He knows to put the Keurig cup in the Keurig machine. <laughs> He just threw that one and put it down and yeah, we're not going to make coffee right now. Thank you. So I just have him, Anthony got these clear ones because his boss gave him like actual grounds. And so he's been using these to eat, to uh, make coffee out of those. So we are playing with this. I'm actually thinking about getting Porter like the, they have a Keurig machine, but it's a toy for kids. I'm thinking about getting that for Porter for Christmas because I think that would be, I think he would love it. Obviously he's obsessed with our carrying machine. So anyway, yeah, today is Sunday, like I said. Um, we are just gonna be doing projects today. Anthony needs to mow. Our backyard is covered in leaves. Let me see if I can show you. Yeah, there you go. It's from our kitchen window. So many leaves. We have not mowed in, I'd say about a month. So our grass needs it. I'd say this will either be the, oh sorry, I wasn't watching the camera. I'd say this will either be the last time mowing or second to last time mowing, depending on if we want to rake leaves or mow leaves. So um, yeah, not too many more times of that. It's getting colder and colder, but this weekend it's actually really nice. It's like 60, so we're gonna get out and enjoy the sun. It'll be really nice. And I'll just film a little bit here and there of our day. But as of this morning, we're just chilling, trying to make time go faster because I keep looking at the clock thinking it should be way later, which technically it should be 10 o'clock, but it's only 9 o'clock. So this day is just going very slowly. This is like the longest day of the year for real, if you're a parent at least. <laughs> okay, so it's a little later in the day, obviously as I am dressed. I just got Porter down for a nap. This morning was a little rough with the boys. I think the time change always is just a little hard on kids to adjust, but I got Porter to stay up an hour later um, than he normally would for his nap, so that was good and he wasn't too fussy. Grayson's about to go down for a nap. He's just watching a show right now. I'm gonna put him down in like 15 minutes. We'll see if he takes a nap. He did yesterday, so he probably won't take a nap today. That's just usually how it goes. Um, Anthony is out mowing right now. Let's see if I can get him on camera. Oh, there he is. Anthony is mowing. Like I said, it's been like a month since we last mowed. Normally in the summer, we wouldn't let that happen. We usually mow about every other week and that's usually a pretty good time for us. But um, because it's been cold, the grass hasn't been growing so long. Honestly, if we didn't have tons of leaves, you probably would just, well, we probably would mow one more time because the grass is kind of long. But from now on out, we might mow one more time, but it'll, it'll just be for the leaves. It won't be for the grass. So the grass really isn't that bad, but he's probably gonna have a lot of bags because there's a ton of leaves like I showed you guys outside. I wanna talk about one more thing that isn't really related to today, but the other day we had Grayson's, okay, sorry, I had to click away the ads on the YouTube show. But like I was saying, um, the other day we had Grayson's parent-teacher conference. Um, it was optional and I wanted to do it just because why not? I mean, he didn't have school on Tuesday, so it like totally threw my whole week off and I was so bummed, but at least we got to talk to his teachers, which was like really fun and eye-opening kind of, cause you know, it's just like, I'm not allowed in the school and I get very minimal communication between them. I could ask for more, but I don't want to like take up all their time. And so when I get an opportunity of like time, just me and the teachers, like I'm gonna take it. So it was just 10 minutes long, it was really short because they had a lot of conferences to get through. But before, like about a week before the conference, they sent home like an evaluation. So I'll show you what Grayson's is, just cause I think it's interesting. So this is the paper that they sent to us. It's just got like Gray's birthday and stuff on it. Um, and so these are the different areas that they looked at. So separates easy from parent, 
follows classroom routines, finds name in print, participates in group activities, helps at cleanup time, demonstrates independence slash self-help skills. So as you can see, some of them he got always, some of them he got sometimes, and once he got rarely. The rarely he got was helps at cleanup time, which I totally get that, like what three-year-old wants to clean up. The sometimes he got was participate in group activities. I honestly thought this was going to be a rarely because Gray does not like <laughs> participating in group activities with other kids. And then following the classroom routines, he got sometimes as well. The things that were academic um, and independent, he like aced, which I'm so not surprised. We had a call with Grayson's teachers. It was nice. I was actually able to get Anthony to listen to the call as well. He had a break. It was only 10 minutes, like I said, and he had a break and he's working from home. So he was able to do it during his work day. And so basically they said that Grayson is quiet during school, which I was kind of shocked about because he's not quiet at home. Um, they say he observes, observes a lot. They said he's very affectionate. He likes to crawl into the teacher's laps and like gives lots of hugs and stuff. They said he prefers to be around adults more than kids, which is totally Grayson because um, he's not used to being around other kids. So of course he wants to be around adults. Also they said he sucks his fingers a lot, which keeps him from being able to like talk a lot. It's obviously bad for germs and stuff. So basically what we came away from that conversation was he's doing amazing academically. They said he's performing at about a kindergarten rate. So awesome, there's nothing we need to do. They said the only things that we should do at home are to try to curb the finger sucking, which I've been trying to do, and I'm ramping up more on it. So now anytime I see him sucking his fingers, I make him stop. And so he's definitely sucking them less, but he still does. A lot of it, now that he's three, like he's been doing it for three years, a lot of it is just like he doesn't even think about it. He just does it like subconsciously. So we're trying to curb that. They said if we could get him more social events that would help because obviously he's very behind socially he's just never really been in that environment they said he's performing at a normal three-year-old like he's not behind in anything but if we want to work on things like try to get play dates for him which of course is really hard in covid world <laughs> and um they were like does he have any cousins no <laughs> does he have any kids on his street he could play with no there's like no kids on our street because we live in an old neighborhood and none of my siblings have kids so he has no cousins and we were like he has one brother but his brother's one so it's not much social interaction like his age so they were like you know don't worry about like you're obviously doing the right thing by putting him in preschool so i felt really good about that basically they were like he's an awesome kid he's a great kid we love having him and yeah it was all good all good things about Grayson so it was a great call I was so happy that Anthony could be in on that call with me so that he could hear those things too and it was good it's always good to hear good things about your kid so sorry I'm giving Grayson some milk that's all you get okay I wanted to talk about that because I want to be able to like look back on that like how was Grayson's first ever parent teacher conference well that's how it went it went really well just a couple things we need to work on at home, uh, but nothing super pressing. And put that on the vlog, but I'm about to put Grace into bed for a nap, and Anthony is moving on to our backyard. I can see him, he's um, in the backyard mowing now. So we are going to do nap time, and then Anthony's gonna get a haircut, which he desperately needs. It's so funny, and now that he's getting older, the longer his hair grows, the more gray comes out of it. It's really kind of funny to see. So we like to keep it short to keep the gray away. <laughs> and then I think we're gonna go on a family walk because it's beautiful outside and uh, Anthony's trying to stay in shape, as am I, for Jamaica. So I will try and vlog a little bit more. I know um, I'm talking a lot this vlog, so sorry about that. <laughs> and we made it to a little elementary park. We've been here before. We actually went into downtown because it's just so beautiful. We just couldn't not. So Anthony's on the other side with Gray and Berkeley. And I am here with Porter. <laughs> we have to split up because Porter's a little slower <laughs> and just wants to climb. Yeah, we gotta go down the slide. He likes going down slides now as long as I hold him. Come on, this way. Come up. 
the stairs. Go this way. Up, up. It's just so beautiful. But we love this park because it's got four separate playgrounds. It's pretty nice. Where are you going? It's so beautiful today. Yum, ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> yum, yum. Do you want more for you? Porter. Nope. <laughs>